Okay, guys. Last video today, and probably the, the last video for quite a while. I just want to quickly explain. Uh, a lot of people are bringing up the uh, U.S. Navy map, which, of course, goes all the way back to Casey, uh, who had a vision, and all these kind of things. But, guys, you know, the scripture does talk about the mountains, which would be right... Here, let me get rid of these real quick. Uh, the mountains which would be here sliding into the sea okay now not necessarily it's not necessarily going to be the rocky mountains it could be anywhere on the planet where the mountains slide eventually there's going to be no mountains and no valleys there's, it's going to be smooth it's going to be a smooth earth with no seas and so forth so on uh, that doesn't mean there won't be slight valleys and slight hills and that kind of things there just won't be no mountains and serious valleys uh, but there and and there won't be any more seas okay that according to the scriptures but let's bring these back on real quick so it does talk about I mean so the Edgar Casey map um, uh, you know as far as this area and remember guys when these people have these visions they're getting it from demons and demons just like the Illuminati who worship Lucifer who according to scripture Lucifer is Hasatan uh, but they very openly declare that they worship Lucifer uh, they, they make it crystal clear they don't deny it they don't hide it or anything okay I know a lot of people try to make it look like it's some top secret thing it's not they'll, they'll flat out tell you if you go up to uh, you know anybody that's a part of the Illuminati, any of any of them, and ask them. You know they'll they'll tell you straight up that they they worship Lucifer and that he's wholesome and true and pure and all these things. Uh, you know people that are atheists they have a difficult time because they don't even you know in order to believe that there's a a Satan or uh, Lucifer, you also have to believe there's a God because they all tie together. Uh, the elite believe that there's something greater than us. That's no doubt about it. And they take orders from them and they do the dirty work. Uh, why? Because they believe the promise that they they will be like God. And 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 when he re when he shows up on the earth, that is Satan himself or Lucifer as they call him. Uh, but you know, uh, and he comes with all the answers and all the solutions and all these kinds of things. Anyways, guys, let's get back to this kind of thing right here. So it does talk. Of, I mean, that is a possibility. I mean, these all these mountains could, you know, there could be a huge detonation, and all the lava from the cauldron is is released out, and there's a void down below, and so everything just shifts off into the ocean. That's a huge possibility. Uh, you know, it, it's it's a very real possibility, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but to give that kind of a heads up means to clear out one third of the entire United States. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, you know, Father will get you out of there in due time if that's the case. I don't know anything about that. It, it is possible. But speaking of the Louisiana situation, uh, I know people, theorists, uh, conspiracy theorists, as they like to call themselves and what have you, and, and I don't really have a problem with the conspiracy theorists as long as they confess to the people that they are uh, in, a, in, a, in a state of theory and not just, you know, trying to make what they're saying sound like it's a fact or, or truth. As long as they, they make everybody know, allow everybody to know that it is a theory and that they are working on theory, it's no big deal. You know, the problem is when they, they, they speak like they know everything and, you know, they speak like they're talking the truth and in reality it's just a theory and people believe it as a truth because they, they don't know any better because no one told them it wasn't true. They, they didn't know it was just a theory. But anyways, as far as how can, you know, how can this Louisiana uh, thing happen, it's really simple. First of all, as I've stated over and over and over again, down here you had the, the BP oil spill over the salt domes, and these all salt domes all connect all the way up into the Louisiana sinkhole, or Bayou Corn Lake, as it's uh, better known now, as it's definitely becoming a lake. But uh, you know, those are those two are actually interconnected deep down under the ground. Now, whether they are physically connected at this point, meaning that the Gulf of Mexico's water is literally flowing all the way over to the sinkhole, I don't know. And as far as I know, nobody knows that to be a fact, okay? Uh, but but it's pretty clear that all of the salt domes interconnect to one another all the way from the sinkhole to the Gulf of Mexico, all the way to the BP oil disaster. And we still got lakes coming up, and we got new cracks forming in the Gulf of Mexico's ocean floor and all these different kinds of things. Okay, those are all facts. So whether or not they're actually connected, meaning there's water from the, the BP spot all the way over to the Louisiana sinkhole, is anybody's guess that's pure theory okay but uh, the salt domes themselves are connected uh, now what you have is you have the North American Craton which obviously comes uh, starts up in Canada comes down along the East Coast shifts over like a U shape then drops down into the Dallas uh, area in, in a U shape and then comes back up and finishes the, the overall U shape okay you've got a U shape here right through the, you can see all the earthquakes and then you've got a little U shape down in here in Texas. Matter of fact, let's just take a look at something. 
this is the North American craton. Again, you see the earthquakes on the earthquake 3D. They follow this line. Then you have the other U that goes through Texas and uh, Dallas and all the way through New Mexico and on up. Okay, this is the the uh, continental crust right here. That's the North American craton. And then you've got the uh, deformed craton, which runs just to the, the south and connects almost together down here in Texas. It goes all the way into California and up to the mountains and into Canada. Okay? Okay, so back over here, here's the U shape that comes down, and the, the secondary U, and then it comes up through here. Okay? And then, of course, right through here, right on this earthquake line here, is the uh, deformed, the, the deformed shape comes down through here, connects in, stays to the south of these earthquakes, and on up. Okay, now, if you know anything about continental uh, bow, bow effect and all these kinds of different things, and, and uh, post-glacial rebound and all these kinds of things, this area up in here is rising upward. At the same time, the, the magnetic pole is moving, and the axis of the Earth has slightly shifted since the 9.0 earthquake. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had a phone call. Okay. Uh, so what you have is you have the northern part or the northern pole area uh, rising up or rebounding up because there's less and less and less and less weight pressing down on the earth uh, like in Greenland and also on the uh, ocean floor the earth that is below the ocean floor there's less compression there as well as that weight is released into the oceans and on to, out to the equator where the earth is literally widening according to satellite uh, data Okay, so you have the North American craton that's trying to literally rebound up. At the same time, you've got the part that's below the North American craton trying to sink down under the weight that's coming into uh, the Gulf of Mexico, the East Coast, uh, the, the uh, Puerto Rico area down here in Mexico, and, and where all the water's trying to get through these narrow sections and out into the big bowl of water, the Pacific Ocean. Okay, so you have literally all the way along this this shape here and also the the odd shape the deformed shape you have pressure trying uh, you know this part up here trying to rise up and the south trying to sag down okay you've got a pressure point and it's running right along the edge of this craton as it's, it's, it's crystal clear with the earthquakes in the meanwhile when we zoom this out you can see the amount of activity going on in the Puerto Rico area and all the way into the Mexico and, and north, northern part of South America. This entire region here is under extreme pressure. It's under extreme pressure as the water is trying to move. In the, and also you've got a sinkhole in Louisiana. So what you have is you have, you have right here, you have pressure building and building and building and building and building as, this, as these are, are absolutely proving and you've got the opposite pressure building on this uh, North American craton. So would it take a Hiroshima-sized explosion in Louisiana to create the map that Edgar Casey and the Navy, uh, that Edgar Casey came up with and that the Navy uh, brought forward? No, it would not. It would take a massive earthquake on the New Madrid, which is the central focal point of the North American craton, the deformed craton, and the pressure building between that plate and the south or the equator right here where all the other earthquakes are going on. That's all it would take is a massive size 10.0, 9.8, whatever earthquake would split the earth right down the Mississippi River. Remember guys, the Mississippi River got formed somehow. Okay, Every river on this planet got formed in one of two ways. Either an earthquake and the earth split open, that's what created the river, the channel, that eventually filled in with dirt and magma cooled off and such and all these kind of things and so you've got a new riverbed. Okay, and so that's where that's the lowest point. That's where all the water travels to, and it heads back to the Gulf of Mexico. Just an earthquake. You've also got rivers that were formed from the the, the uh, flood, which covered the entire planet. And as that water receded and the mountains sprung up, okay, continental rebound again, guys. There, I mean, there's you know, it's right there in the scriptures. Post glacial rebound is right there in the scriptures. It says that the waters receded and the mountains sprung up. They jumped up. They came up. They lifted up. Okay, they weren't there before. And as all that happened, all that water came rushing back down to sea level, and you got creeks that formed in the mountain areas. Where there's no mountains, obviously, this huge river, that the Mississippi River, there's no mountains around it until you get way up in this area. But there's no mountains in this area. It's just hills. 
Okay, nothing's going to create that massive of a river except an earthquake, and that's how the earth that the uh, that's how that river got formed. So, uh, absolutely, all of you know, if 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 we ever did get a, a a massive nine point something earthquake right there on the New Madrid, and and it's real likely at this point, guys, is what I'm trying to tell you, with the North American Craton trying to lift up, the deformed Craton trying to uh, balance between the North lifting and the South sinking. And then you've got all the pressure down here in the equator that's pushing back toward that craton. It would be very easy for all of Louisiana to simply disappear into one massive bay. And then you would have a much wider Mississippi from that point on forward. And it would either continue all the way up into Minnesota or it would crack and work its way into Lake Michigan. Either way, it would fulfill uh, Edward Casey's map. Okay, But again, when it comes to these maps, these guys are getting these things from demons. Uh, these visions are coming from demons, and a demon will always give you a deception, not a lie. They will not lie to you. They will give you a deception, which means they will give you a partial truth and wrapped up in a whole bunch of nonsense. Okay, so part of what Edgar Casey received is truth. The key is you got to grab that that chunk of the truth and throw away all the nonsense. Okay, it's very real possibility for uh, Edgar Casey's map to become real in the Louisiana area, as well as around Florida and uh, Texas, where it meets the Gulf of Mexico, and, and as far as Florida, where it meets the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean. All of that is very possible just based on post-glacial rebound, the melting of the poles and the ices, uh, the magnetic pole shifting, and the Earth itself shifting on its axis after uh, the 8 point whatever it was and the 9.1 magnitude earthquakes. These are all facts, guys. You, ain't gotta, you can go look them up if you want to, whatever. It doesn't matter. The Earth literally tilts it on its axis. And if we have another 8 points, I think it's 8.6 and above, somewhere around in there, uh, the Earth will move again on its axis. It's just the way it works. Also, when you get these massive size earthquakes, continents on their own slide a little bit. The whole continent will move a little bit. Uh, maybe not the whole Earth on its axis, but the continent itself will move by itself apart from the axis. If the axis moves and the continent moves, that could be an extreme amount of movement on the planet. So, I just wanted to explain that, yes, it's very possible for Edward Casey's map to come to pass. Uh, there's no explosions necessary for it to come to pass. Just just the earth going through its travails and its pregnancies and its pains and birth pains and all the different things that it's got to go through we're seeing the effects of it guys we're seeing oil rigs uh, uh, fail over and over and over again those things are drilled down thousands of feet into the ground where, where the foundations of the earth are and uh, you know he's he's messing with the foundations of the earth right now she's going through travail and through birth pangs trying to give birth to the new earth and to the new heavens when we get our axis back straight we'll have a brand new set of heavens in, the, in our sky because we'll no longer be looking at the tilted heaven but we'll be looking at a true up up and down heaven uh, whereas we weren't able to see that beforehand because we we're on a tilt so our heavens will literally change when we go back to a straight tilt in other words no tilt at all so guys there's a lot to it there's a but I want you to understand that that yes there's going to be explosions in Louisiana there's explosions happening all over the planet right now guys there's methane and, and gas and other gases there's even propane and natural gas and other various gases that are literally coming up through the ground literally the foundations of the earth have been shifted the four winds have already been let loose all these things are already happening guys the problem is you can't see that you're in the beginning stages of tribulations because you think that it's going to be something that everybody's fully aware of that we're in the tribulations that's not the case if everybody was fully aware of it everybody would confess their sins and repent or turn back to walking in love toward one another and to father okay that's not what's happening so obviously nobody has a clue what times we're in or what seasons we are in okay they've all chose to live the lie that's why I'm done on YouTube. Father said, let them live the lie. Everybody's on their own at this point. He's determining who knows his word and who doesn't. It's not about following the growing awareness or any other channel. It is about you getting in the word, knowing the word, and having a relationship with Father. Okay? And repenting of your sins, your forefathers' sins, and the sins of our leadership. And praying for our leadership. Praying for them. And praying for your enemies. Walking in pure and utter love toward one another, guys. So, anyways, guys, I hope that'll help explain the whole Louisiana situation. Again, guys, you need to get out of Louisiana. You're out of time, okay? You've got a very short amount of time left to prep so that you're ready to move when the events unfold. Okay? You've got to get out of the area. 
not necessarily because of explosions and other things. It, those things are happening all over the planet, and yes, they're going to happen right there in your area as well. So get ready. Know about it. Have a plan together. If there's an explosion, what are you going to do? If your house is demolished, where are you going to go and what are you going to do? Have a plan. Be ready. Okay? You don't have to perish in any of this. Father told you all the things that are going to come to pass. He said, watch and pray, and that's the answer. It's right there. Watch and pray. After you know what's coming, watch and pray. And he'll get you out of there. Okay? You don't have to perish. You can be here all the way until the sun returns to this earth. That is Father's Son, not the physical sun bright thing up in the sky up there. Okay? But a lot of things are changing on your planet, guys. And you have got to be ready for various types of things. You have to be ready. If you're not ready and you perish, it's your fault. Okay? First thing you got to know is the season you're in. A time that we are seeing events unfold that we have simply never seen since the creation of the earth. Not since the creation of Adam, but since the creation of the earth itself, which is a totally different time period than actually the creation of Adam. Okay? But since the creation of the earth itself onward, that jet light, that last generation will see events that no one has saw before and no generation after that generation will ever see again. It is a once in the lifetime of the earth, of this age of the earth, of sin and transgression, because that's the age we are in, an age of corruption, an age where we are under the God of this world who has uh, led us all into lies and deceptions and, 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 and hatred toward one another rather than love. Guys, I'm going to get off of here. I'm not supposed to be making videos, but I want you guys to understand that, yes, it is very real that Louisiana literally could disappear and in a matter of minutes in an earthquake. But you need to get out of Louisiana, not because of that, but because you're breathing un unhealthy air. No matter where you live in that state, you are breathing unhealthy air. And your food is contaminated, your water is contaminated, it doesn't matter where you live, if you live in southern Louisiana, I promise you, your air, water, and food is contaminated, it is having an effect on you, you may not see it for the next 10 or 20 years, but once it finally hits you, you will have wished you had left the area. But you didn't, and so you're getting the sin, the price of the sin of her iniquity, not yours. He said, come out of her, my people. So that you not be partakers of her sin and partakers of her judgment, her punishment. Okay? They're the ones sinning, guys. We're to get out of it, to move out of the cities, to move out of the, the, the whatever's going on. To watch and pray and do what we have to do to be ready for the events that he's going to bring as this earth changes and pukes out all corruption, all deceivers, all liars, all murderers. All these things are going to perish. They're going to be done away with. That's why you must confess your sins. And you must repent. Which means turn back to the Father. Turn back to walking in love toward one another. Stop creating deceptions and theories and all these various things. And speak the truth. And love one another. And help one another. And lift one another up. And the only place that you can truly do the all these things is locally in your area help the oppressed get the laws changed set the captives free do your job speak the truth and walk in love the authority of heaven the kingdom of heaven is at hand guys it's not imminent it will not happen tomorrow or the day after or next month but it is going to come and it's coming quickly quickly it is coming you must come clean of your sin, your forefather's sin, and your uh, the sin of our leadership. You must pray for your leadership, and you must repent and turn back to walking in love. That's what repent is, to turn back to walking in love toward one another. To get rid of the mark of the beast, which is in your head and in your right arm. That is, all the, the negative thinking, the bad thinking, the false thinking, the lies and deceptions that you're telling people, and that you're spreading, and that you're, you're participating in, in some way, form, or fashion. You must get rid of all those things. That is, the mind, the, the mark of the beast in the mind, and whatever's in the mind, you do the works thereof, so therefore your right hand is also marked. You are marked in both your mind and your hand if you're doing his works, if you think his ways, if you act the, the way he does. Okay? And you must get sealed by the spirit of truth. 
and then walk in love and that's what the spirit will guide you to how to walk in love okay guys i'm off here hope that i help you to explain uh how louisiana can possibly disappear and it very well could it's a very real possibility and with the amount of pressures that we're seeing nowadays two years ago we weren't seeing this amount of pressure it was all over on the the western side of the pacific ocean let me turn these numbers down so this thing will spin a lot better you know <clears throat> last uh two years ago all the activity was right here literally from japan down through new zealand that included this whole area here okay nowadays in the last year and a half or so it's all spread all the way around the entirety of the ring of fire um and into the united states and all the way through the north american craton and all the way into the the uh the ridge that runs the atlantic ocean okay all of these things now and your volcanoes are getting more and more active your sinkles are showing up the earth is very much changing she's very much metamorphosizing she's very much the transgression is extremely heavy upon her and there's going to be dramatic drastic changes on this planet and you must be ready not deceived okay if you're getting your information on youtube most likely chances are you're being deceived even by the people that you think are presenting the truth why because they believe with all their heart that they're presenting you the truth but they have not researched the facts behind their facts to determine if their facts are even facts or not they're just presenting whatever it is they come across most of these channels will go out see a story and immediately make a video never do any research on it just immediately make a video and present whatever was presented to them or whatever they came across not knowing as if, it's, if it's even true or not they didn't do any research behind the facts that they're using to explain things to you. Okay? Why? Because we are all under the God of this world. We're all in error. We're all in transgression. We've all screwed up. We all have to repent. We all have to get back right. We all have to fix our ways. So, hopefully this will help you to understand things a little bit better. Maybe not. You know, I don't know. But this is, in, in fact, my last video, unless Father would have me to bring up another video. So I love you guys. Get in the Word. Stay in the Word and get the Word in you. Those three sentences right there. Get in the Word. Stay in the Word. Get the Word in you are the most important three sentences on the face of this planet at this time and in this season. Shalom to all.